I'm a practicing rheumatologist. Uh, I've been in practice for over 25 years, and I see patients daily. I saw the ultrasound used about five years ago at a meeting, and I was so fascinated with what I could see um, beneath the surface of the skin that I had no idea existed. And with that introduction, I took a few courses and started to practice with ultrasound and uh, have uh, never been sorry about that since. I think that ultrasound has made me a better rheumatologist, not only as far as diagnosing uh, musculoskeletal problems, but also as far as treatment for injections and aspirations. In order to incorporate it into the practice, you really have to take courses, uh, perhaps work with a mentor, uh, and practice on patients in situations where it's not a determining factor for treatment or diagnosis. At the beginning, that's exactly what I did for the first two months. I would use it very frequently, save images, and then go about doing what I would have done anyway, and then compare what I thought was going on to what I had learned with CT scans or MRI scans later on. And in this way, I was gradually able to become more competent. It's been shown unequivocally that ultrasound is far more accurate than plain x-rays. And we can see something like five to 10 times the number of, of erosions. And you can see an erosion less than a millimeter in size with the current uh, linear probes and the ultrasound equipment from Sonosite. Um, so that's very important because it increases the accuracy of the examination, allows you to see erosions that you normally would not see. As far as comparison to MRI, uh, MRI scans are uh, very time consuming. They have to be scheduled ahead of time uh, and they're very expensive. Office-based ultrasound can be done as part of the exam. It can be done in the office with the patient there or scheduled at a later time uh, and is far less expensive. Uh, it is probably more accurate for examining tendons than MRI is. It is equally accurate in looking for erosions at MCP joints as MRI is, but it is not quite as accurate in other areas, such as the wrist, where many joint surfaces cannot be visualized by ultrasound. But it's an extremely valuable technique for in-office use. When I wheel a, uh, one of these machines, any of the models that I've had into the room and show them this as a uh, new technique that I can use to see into the joint, to visualize the tendons, uh, they're very excited and they feel that I'm performing something that's uh, right at the uh, um, crest of the wave. Uh, I'm right there uh, doing what I'm supposed to and no one else in town is. And I use it as an educational tool also to show them what's going on. For some patients who are reluctant to initiate therapy because they're not really sure what's happening, it's a valuable tool for education. I am doing many more injections and aspirations in total compared to my previous practice. Uh, I am a referral uh, source for people who uh, have patients who are very large and need to have a simple joint like a knee aspirated. With ultrasound, I can find the joint. Uh, I also inject and aspirate hips, sacroiliac joints, and many other small joints that in the past I really didn't have as good luck with. Now I know exactly where the joint is and I'm successful every time. I've really enjoyed uh, using the Sonosite equipment for the past uh, nearly five years. 
I first started using the Titan uh, when I began. It was the first piece of equipment that I purchased. And I've been able to advance as the new models have come out, both through the Micromax and more recently, the past year, with the M-Turbo. Uh, each of these um, pieces of equipment has been very uh, reliable. I've had no technical difficulties with them at all, so for, uh, and for, for me, they've been uh, there to use all the time. I know that on a few occasions I've had questions and the technical support has been uh, excellent. Um, and I've not had to use uh, replacement or repair um, from Sonosite because the equipment has been excellent. Uh, 